Hi everybody, everybody I'm back and today, today Gina Young is going to show you all how to make amazing stuffed mushrooms. Who doesn't love stuffed mushrooms? I'm going to show you how quick and simple these can be made. So much fun to make and listen here, they taste so good. Here's what you're going to need. Now, there's several different types of mushrooms that you can use. I'm going to use the white button mushroom, okay? This is the one that I like to use. You also can use portabella. Portabella uh, mushrooms would be just fine as well. You can use a baby bella, which are um, around the same size as these. Those would be great as well. So you'll need those. You're gonna need fresh garlic, and you can see I have two cloves of fresh garlic. You will need Parmesan Reggiano. Make sure that you have the kind that has the rind, just like this one does. Make, invest in some nice, fresh Parmesan Reggiano. You're gonna need fresh parsley, okay? Not the dried. I mean, honestly, you can use the dried, but you wanna get a little bit of flavor from the fresh parsley. Okay, everyone, you're gonna need some paprika as well as I have sea salt and cracked black pepper. You will need breadcrumbs. Just make sure you invest in nice breadcrumbs. I love to use the panko breadcrumbs, and these are Italian season, and they have nice flavor to them, okay? And you're gonna need some olive oil, okay? So we're gonna use some California extra virgin olive oil. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is make our way over to this fresh parsley. And of course, we're gonna cut the stem off. And we're not gonna use all of this parsley. Okay, let's see, we'll probably use about that much. I hope that you all are having a beautiful weekend. Today is Friday and the weekend begins. I hope that you all are having a great day as well. There's a lot of people that are really not fans of mushrooms. Me personally, I absolutely love, I love mushrooms. And any chance I get to use them, I do. I do, I do, because I absolutely adore them. I love mushrooms, I can eat them this way. Really, I can. I can eat them that way. I like them on my pizza. When I order pizza, I always have mushrooms on my pizza. Looks like I'm gonna use the rest of that parsley. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. All right? Just like so. Beautiful. Take the time to chop it up nice and fine. Okay? Okay, I'm going to use this here just to put all of my ingredients in. I was going to use a bowl, but I feel like uh, the camera will show all of the ingredients very well in this. So we're going to just use this. All right. Now, we want to grate Parmesan cheese into this here parsley. Like I said, take the time to invest in real Parmesan Reggiano, okay? And we're gonna use around about a half a cup. Okay, so get ready to use some elbow grease here, guys. Elbow grease, those of you that don't know what elbow grease is, it's just an old slang term for get ready to use your muscles. <laughs> As my dad would say. Gotta put some elbow grease in there. <laughs> Between a half a cup and a cup, it's really up to your discretion how much you wanna use, all right? I'm telling you one thing, there's nothing like the nutty smell. It's such a beautiful smell of Parmesan Reggiano. Wow, it smells amazing. Mm. Anybody doing anything special for the weekend? Let me know in the comment section below what you all are doing this weekend. 
Okay, there's that. And then the thing about the garlic, we're gonna do our garlic this way as well, okay? Perfect. Because I feel like if you chop the garlic, there's a chance that you're gonna have big pieces of garlic in your mixture. And you don't wanna have to deal with that. You wanna be able to have, you know, tiny pieces. You know, that's gonna disintegrate and you're just gonna get that beautiful pungent flavor from the fresh garlic. That's the way to go. Trust me when I tell you this, okay? Be careful when you're using this microplane because you don't want to cut yourself. Really, it's that simple. Make sure that you use two, two garlic cloves. That's gonna give you the perfect amount of flavor. Trust me when I tell you this, okay? The paprika is gonna give a nice, beautiful color, as well as it will give some flavor as well, okay? Absolutely it will. All right, see that? Nice amount. Beautiful, get right down in there. Okay, moving forward, we're gonna want to use paprika. Now, um, there's regular paprika and there's smoked paprika. I don't suggest using the smoked because I believe that it will change the flavor a little too much, okay? We're gonna use between a cup and a half a cup of breadcrumbs, okay? I'm just gonna eyeball it because I know exactly how much I need, okay? And really, it's that simple. All right, now, moving on, we'll just leave everything just like this and we'll come back to this. Now, your mushrooms. Make sure when you get your mushrooms home from your market, you want to wash your mushrooms. And how you do that is you just take a damp paper towel and you're gonna rub them. You're gonna rub it vigorously. Or if you have a clean, a brand new toothbrush, you can take the toothbrush and brush it with a little bit of cold water. That's the way that you clean mushrooms. You never wanna put your mushrooms under water, okay? Because they'll just soak it up. Now, pulling the stem out is very simple. See this here? you pull the stem out and you're set, okay? So then, as far as the stems, we're gonna use the stems, don't you dare throw the stems away. If you wanted to actually hollow out your uh, mushroom, you can. You can take your knife or you can take the back of a spoon and hollow it out, okay? But normally what I like to do, see that there? That's what you're wanting. But what I like to do is I've, I'll just pull the stems off and I'm satisfied. I don't need to go in and hollow it out. But if you're a perfectionist, then you hollow yours out. Okay, but this right here, that does me and I'm satisfied. All right, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to chop up the stems. And the stems will actually go into the mixture. Okay. See, I broke this one, but guess what? It's okay, we're still gonna make it and we're still gonna eat that bad boy and it's still gonna be delicious. Absolutely. So be gentle, be gentle as you can. Y'all know how to be gentle, right? I know you do. All right, keep on pulling the stems much as you can. Some of them will give you a hard time. Just take your finger and hollow it out. All right? I'm gonna continue to take the stems off. Make sure you do not throw your stems away because we're gonna use every part of this beautiful mushroom. All right? I love mushrooms. Whoo, eating bad boys looking good right now. There's nothing like a fresh salad. Here's what I love. I love a fresh salad that has fresh mushrooms in it, fresh peas, and uh, boiled eggs. That right there is the perfect salad for me. And then I'll have a little few cherry tomatoes in it and French dressing. And that is my favorite salad. Oh, see that one? Mm. And when you're searching for your mushroom, 
look for mushrooms that are nice and bright in color. And then look for mushrooms that also are big. You know, they could be medium sized like this one, but try to find the biggest ones that you can. And the reason for that is because you don't want these teeny tiny stuffed mushrooms, okay? You want them to have a little bit of size to them because when they go in the oven and you're gonna cook them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes on 400. When they go in the oven, they will do some shrinking a little bit. So that's why you want to find the biggest mushrooms that you can. And like I said, feel free to use a portabella. Absolutely you can. I've seen so many people um, stuff mushrooms with different things. People like to use feta cheese. I'm really not a fan of feta cheese. I can eat it, but I'm really not a fan of it. Um, I've seen people stuff their mushrooms with, um, pin, uh, not pancetta, what, what's, what am I thinking of? With ham, little pieces of salami, pepperonis, all kinds of things. I've seen someone make a pizza stuffed, a pizza stuffed mushroom and it looked amazing. Of course, you know, they sat there mushrooms on top of a bit of pizza sauce and then they had green bell peppers and onions and sausage and cheese all down into their mushrooms and then they topped it off with cheese and it looked amazing that's something that i definitely would like to try because i feel like all of those ingredients pair up so well together a lot of people will throw the stems away, not knowing that the stems have so many nutrients and the stems have lots of flavor as well. See this here? Woo-wee! Bad boys look good right now. I'm so excited, my mouth is watering and we're halfway done with the recipe. Okay, so now we have our mixture. Go ahead and put your stems right on in there. If you wanna throw some ham in there, feel free. If you have some type of chicken breast, put that in there. Okay, whatever floats your boat. You put whatever ingredients you would like to have in yours as long as you follow the basics. And the basics would be the salt and pepper, the paprika, the stems, the panko breadcrumbs, the garlic and the parmesan and olive oil. After that, you can put in there what you want to put in there, okay? And really, it's that simple. Everything that I make in this kitchen, you all can do as well. Trust me. So now what we're gonna do, let's put some salt in because you have to season. Don't be afraid to season up anything. If you don't season your food, it won't have flavor. And we want flavor. So now I'm putting pepper in. I'm just turning my pepper meal this way to get the pepper. If you turn it to the left, you get salt. Turn it to the right, you get pepper. One of my subscribers got this for me and it's absolutely amazing. So thank you for that. I'm getting back on track. Those of you that are familiar with me and my channel, um, I typically upload two videos daily, and I kind of got off track a little bit because our son is in the hospital, but he will be getting out of the hospital very soon, and he's healing up just well, and I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your prayers. Thank you all absolutely so much. I truly appreciate it. Nice olive oil. Invest in nice olive oil. Okay? You don't need too much, but you want to put enough in there that's going to give you a nice, crispy, golden brown breadcrumb, okay? So now, let me grab a fork. I said, let me grab a fork, and I went to grab <laughs> a soft spatula. <laughs> 
which is just fine. They'll both do the job, right? You see that Parmesan and that garlic? Get that well incorporated. This mixture right here is amazing. This same mixture, this same mixture, even with the uh, mushrooms in it, can be used to stuff chicken breast. It can be used to stuff pork chops. It can be used for any stuffing that you would like to use. And you could put raisins in here, okay? You can put apples in here. Absolutely you can. You can use this stuffing. You can put um, some type of wild rice with this. And like I said, it would stuff any meat. And your family members and friends will be ecstatic about the flavor. Okay? So just kind of eyeball your uh, olive oil, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give this a taste and see if I'm happy with the seasonings, all right? If I'm happy with the seasonings, we're gonna go ahead and start stuffing these bad boys, okay? So what I'm tasting for is do I have enough spice? Oh, mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. And what's beautiful, that fresh garlic, that fresh garlic really does it. That. Origiano, Parmesan Origiano is amazing. Get you some Italian panko breadcrumbs. Paprika and the salt and pepper I can taste perfectly. Now, let's go ahead and start stuffing these bad boys. I'm telling you one thing, it's such an amazing flavor. And it's so simple. And what I suggest that you do is you kind of push it down in there, right? Once you've pushed it down to where it's in there, Pound, uh, pal you a mound up. Put your little mound on top, just like that. That's what we want them to look like. Okay, and never worry if some's gonna fall off or anything like that. Don't worry about that. Don't stress yourself out in the kitchen. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna take um, this here, and I wanna rub the oil all over this foil because we don't want for any of our beautiful mushrooms to stick so you just take some olive oil and get it nice and oily okay don't use too much because we don't want oily mushrooms this is just to prevent the mushrooms from sticking okay see that there that's what it should look like a lot of times, and you know, we this I come across this a lot. There's so many people that are intimidated by making their favorite foods because they think it looks complicated. But this right here is not complicated at all. It's actually a lot of fun to make and very easy. Absolutely it is. Whoo, eating bad boys looking good right now. Mmm, 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 mmm. You all never had this before. You better make you some. You better make you some. Woo, look at that. I'm gonna do all of my videos early so I can have a Friday. <laughs> I'm gonna do early videos. It's actually, what time is it, guys? It is 9.30 a.m. And I'm getting started on my first video. I have plans on doing three videos today, so I figured I better get up right now and get going if you wanna have, enjoy your Friday. I know we're gonna do some yard work today that I'm really excited about. I love doing yard work, getting out there, and we'll all take turns on cutting the grass because the yard is so big, front and back and sides and things like that. That's always fun and exciting. We need to go out and get a weed whacker because we need to trim, you know, like around the house and trees and things like that. So we'll do that. Probably clean our garage out. I love doing stuff like that. I don't know about you all, but I love to spring clean and do yard work and stuff like that. It makes me feel productive. <laughs> really, it does. I'm telling you one thing, when I tasted this, it's so amazing. It really makes me want to stuff some nice chicken breast. And it might just be 
a recipe that I do here in a couple of days. Stuffed chicken breast with this same stuffing. Amazing. Okay, everyone, let's take a look at our beautifully stuffed mushrooms. Let's put these in the oven 400 degrees when they come out. I'll let you know the exact amount of time that they took to cook. Now, I can, there's a possibility that I can tell you 15, 20 minutes, right? But oven temperatures may vary. Okay, so just what I'd like for you to do is keep a nice eye on them. When the top gets nice and golden brown, they're done. Okay, and really it's that simple. Okay, everybody, it's been 16 minutes. It's time to take our beautiful stuffed mushrooms out. I cannot wait till you all can see what these look like. Okay, everybody, take a look at these beautiful stuffed mushrooms. This is what they should look like. Your mushrooms should never be wet, okay? They should be fully cooked. You can kind of see the bottom, and this should be nice and crispy, and all of your filling, your stuffing should not be falling out. It's nice and stuffed in there. This right here is perfection, and it's so tasty for all of you mushroom lovers like me. All right, now, Let's say a beautiful prayer of our food before we dig in. Now, those of you um, that are familiar with me, you know I keep all types of dipping sauces around my house. I keep ranch, I keep Caesar, I keep, uh, I have the secret sauce here. I have a sweet buffalo mustard sauce. You can use blue cheese, you can use ketchup, hot sauce, whatever floats your boat, whatever you like to use for dipping sauce. If you want a sweet and sour sauce, then by all means, let's say a prayer, and we're gonna dive in, give this a taste, and I'm gonna let y'all know what this tastes like. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you that today will be blessed and beautiful. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper, and we bind the devil away from our life. Lord, I thank you for all of my subscribers and all of my viewers, and I thank you for the millions of subscribers and viewers that's coming my way. Lord, I thank you for your blessings, and I ask you to please forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. I need you in every area of my life, Lord. I cannot do anything in life without you. Thank you for this gift that you've given me, Lord. Thank you for YouTube giving me the platform to share my gift from you with the world. Lord, I thank you once again for the roof over our head, the food that you give us, and the love that you give us daily. Amen. Let's dig in. I'm so excited. First thing I want to do is we want to taste this without anything on it. You always want to taste whatever you have without anything on it, and then you can go in with dipping sauces if you like. Take a bite. Let me know what y'all think about this. This right here, this right here is going to rock your world, baby. You hear me? If you never had your world, how do I say that? <laughs> Tongue twister. If you never had your world rocked, this right here is where you're going to find it, baby. Taste that. Oh, oh my word. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm, magnificent. Look at this, nice and juicy. Oh, and the stuffing is amazing. It's funny because you can taste every single flavor. You can taste the cheese. You can taste the parsley, the salt and pepper, the garlic is very prevalent, which is amazing. You have to use that fresh garlic and the paprika. Every, this is a match made in heaven. You all never had this before. You better make you some. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to click on that like button. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. look. You want to be notified every time Gina Young uploads an awesome video, make sure you click on that notification bell and let everybody you know, let everybody you know, know about Gina Young. Tell them about Gina Young and what Gina Young is doing in this kitchen. One more bite, guys. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. See these right here? Mmm. I can 
can throw the whole thing back in my mouth. Right. I'm just biting it for you guys, but this whole thing is going in my mouth. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Oh, God, that's good. My goodness. Mm. 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 Why does it taste like I'm eating a porterhouse steak? It's amazing. Mm. It's so meaty and it's so fresh. And the, the filling is so light. One more bite, guys. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good weekend. Good night. One more bite. One more bite, guys. One more bite. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, that bad boy. Ugh. Mm.